So a few times on Reddit, I've seen people asking for this kind of camera where the camera follows the player, but also leans towards the mouse cursor, right? That's kind of tricky to do. So I'm just doing this tutorial, very quick one, just to show you how I go about doing that in my game. Let's take a look at the player and the player script first. Okay, so first thing we want to do is prepare our character. So I have a very simple player controller script here. This is running on the player. You can see we are getting some input. So, you know, if the player hits the left key, the right key, just add that to the velocity. And then we're going to shift the global position of the player to be, uh, to be that, right? Okay, so then to flip the player when we look left and right, I uh, probably guess, get the global mouse position, and if that global mouse position's X coordinate is less than the player's X coordinate, then we just flip his scale. And then how does the gun look at the mouse position? We say gun look at mouse position. Okay, so that is the player controller. Um, very, very simple player controller. Probably if your own game, do something a bit more complicated with more features and stuff. So next up, I'm gonna enable the camera and then show you how we make the camera follow the player. And more importantly, how we make the camera lean towards the mouse position. That's the tricky bit. Okay, so now I've enabled the camera um, and this is the camera code. So in our process loop, we have two functions, match player position and lean camera towards mouse. So let's start with match player position. That's very simple. We just say the position of the camera is equal to the player's position, right? And that's how it's tracking the player. And how is it smoothing? Well, the those camera has a function called smooth. You just enable it. Okay, the next, leaning the camera. This is a tricky bit. This actually took me a little bit of time to figure out how to do correctly, right? So what we do is in the lean camera towards mouse, we get the mouse position. So wherever I have my mouse, and then we get the direction to the mouse as a vector by getting the mouse position, minusing it from the camera position and then normalizing it. We normalize it to just make it easier to work with. That just gets a vector of any length, crunches it down. So the length of the vector is, is one. Um, so for example, you can see here, uh, the direction to mouse, when I have my mouse up here, is x0, y minus 1, right? That's the same as vector up. Down here, you can see now x is 0 still, um, and y is 1, which is the same as vector down, and then you can see the same for like right and left and in between. So this is going to get us that vector, and then we want to get the distance to the mouse by just saying mouse position, distance to the position of the camera again. And you can see when I have my mouse in the middle, distance to the mouse is very small, and as I move it out, it gets greater. And then what our lean is, is we're just multiplying those two numbers together. So we get the direction to the mouse and we get the distance to the mouse, we multiply them and then we scale them down by this lean up here else it'll, it'll just be kind of too much lean. And then we just say the offset of the camera is equal to that vector, that lean vector we've calculated. And we're lerping it just to make it smooth. So if I remove the lerp, you can see it's like just too quick. It's, it's uh, kind of jarring. So we lerp it, which just means like, you know, slowly push towards the lean, uh, you know, little by little per frame. Yeah, that's it. It's a little bit tricky, um, but just copy paste that into your project and see if it works for you. Um, now you can go write uh, nuclear throne clones or whatever. Yeah, and so here's the same code running in my game Space Bandit. You can see we push towards the mouse cursor and we can follow the player and we can shoot these guys. Yeah, so... Uh, <laughs> yeah, so that's... um. That's the tutorial. And by the way, you can wishlist this game if you want to support me. It's a lot of fun. Uh, let's blow up more windows. Oh, no. That's a level over. Yeah. If you have anything you'd like me to help you with or whatever, maybe more on nuclear throne stuff, uh, yeah, just leave a comment and subscribe, and I will get back to you. Maybe. Probably. Maybe. I don't know.